I think he looks ridiculous in the Phantom Pain. <laughs> I don't like I don't like the glasses with uh, with the stupid beret and the flared up hair. I think he looks better in Peace Walker. He does look better in Peace Walker, but with eh. the slick back with the slick back hair, the uniform, and, and the aviators. Yeah, yeah. I think the aviators are a little overdone. By the way, we're still in the Matrix. Yep, still here. So this stage is not going to be stealth. This is just going to be a standard stage. The next stage after this one, however, is true stealth. True stealth. <laughs> yeah, most things involving Yuri Kimura <laughs> Masamune really probably aren't going to be stealthy. <laughs> well, the, well, this is this is defending the home base. Oh, okay. The next stage, we're actually infiltrating a castle. This is an infiltration mission, boss. Watch your corners. Check your corners, boys. Those tranquilizers are only good for hitting people. You can't destroy things with them. <laughs> Not with that attitude, you can't. <laughs> Thank you, Miller. I get it. Metal Gear, Peace Walker, Banana Only Run. Can you play as the other characters, like in multiplayer or something? You can, um... You can recruit people. Um, the most, unfortunately, they don't have too much aesthetically different about them besides camo that you can equip and guns. But well, can you? They all have different stats. Well, uh, well, like in like in uh, four, can you equip different heads? No, I don't think so. Uh, they're, uh, they're all the straight masks. Uh, that probably would have been. A you little probably bit much. that I, probably would have been a little much for the PSP. I think you can play as um, Miller, but I don't know offhand. I've never actually done it because I always stick him in fucking R and D. Yeah, because like just thinking about how about how like in four you could play, play in quotes, as Raiden or the Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> old old snake. <laughs> Remember back in the day when Metal Gear Rising was first revealed and it was gonna be straight Metal Gear Solid Four, but with Raiden. Then were the days. Well, no. Uh, eh, kind of. And then Konami was like, "Shit, we can't program this." We don't know how to make action games. We don't know how to just cut everything in the environment. <laughs> and then they inadvertently made a very, 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 very good action game. Thanks, Platinum. Thank you, Platinum. I just, I love the idea that Konami can't program an action game. <laughs> what the fuck do you think Castlevania is? Yeah, sure, it hasn't Not been... Not a good action game. <laughs> yeah, sure, it, it, it hasn't been good... On, uh, on consoles since the PS1, but still, there's a there's a formula there. I, th I think uh, they specifically asked Platinum to do it because they're having a lot of trouble with the physics, uh, trying being able to cut everything in the environment ever. Yeah, which that reminds me, speaking speaking of Castlevania, wasn't uh, Bloodstained delayed? I think it was. Was it? I didn't hear anything about that. I think I think I heard something about how it was delayed. Was that delayed until this year or until 2018? I want to say the original release date was 2018, but I'm not certain. No, no, the original release date was 2017, and it was delayed to 2018. Oh damn! Well, they said at least they're doing it in advance well, and saying it specifically for quality reasons. Well, if Ega has heard anything about the reception of Old Mind Number Nine and Ukulele, I imagine he'd want to take precautions. Well, that's the weird thing about Ukulele is that mo is that most people say that the biggest issue. Uh, is, I hear it's not inherently a bad game. No, Ukulele is a is a great game. The problem that most people have, that the reviewers have, because the game doesn't come out till next week. The problem that, that the reviewers are having is primarily with the camera. The camera the camera is pretty bad at is pretty bad at times. So that's uh, so there's apparently been been some patches already, some pre release patches. Hmm. So if it so if it's, if the biggest problem is just the camera. Then, uh, then I think you you probably still came uh, probably still gonna come out ahead. Probably. And you know for a fact the ukulele is guaranteed a good couple of million units sold. I'm pretty certain, yeah. Because between that, uh, it's actually a pretty good, a pretty great year for platformers when you think about it. There was something else that came out earlier that I can't remember what it was. Ukulele, the Crash trilogy comes out in June. And, uh, God, yes. and the Jack games are all four Jack games are being remastered for the PS4. Wait, Jack X included? Yes. Oh fuck yeah, dude! I, I didn't hear about it. Oh, I heard something about them being remastered. I was like, so it's in their HD port. But then, now I'm hearing Jack X. I'm like, ooh, ooh, okay. 
Yeah, all four of them are coming to the PS4. I don't know if it's going to be an actual full release or if it'll just be digital, but they're coming to the PS4 at least slightly remastered. See, then that's good. Yeah. And people were saying porting everything to, the PS to this generation of consoles was a bad thing. Also, the map just opened up greatly. Yeah. Well, the reason most people are saying that was because it was because it was PS3 games coming to the PS4 less than a year with less than a year between releases. But you know, if it's that if it's that short, then I guess I sort of I sort of get it. If it's a port, that's one thing. But if you're just gonna straight up call it a remaster, well, yeah. yeah. That reminds so, me. Do you have slightly more powerful hardware to work with, though? I guess. Yeah. It's funny just thinking about how some of those games that are uh, that are PS4 remasters to PS3 games with the Pro are now 4K capable. Yeah. It's like The Last of Us, which was a PS3 game, which ran originally only in um, in 720p, is now a game you can play in 4K. <laughs> That's a hell of a leap there, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. It really shows how long we've actually been capable of fucking 4K gaming versus what people were struggling with the PS3. You know what the funny the funniest thing is actually the first time I actually learned what 4K is. What? DVD video soft has had 4K capable downloads on the YouTube downloader since 2010. 2010. God damn. It had it wasn't a thing on it wasn't a thing on YouTube in 2010, but it was capable of downloading in as high a resolution as 4K. Jesus. Oh, all right. <laughs> makes that <laughs> makes uh. that makes that premium thing actually worth it. 2010 4K YouTube. I don't imagine that would look like. Remember how how uh, how YouTube didn't actually get uh, HD video until 2010. Yeah, that was a hell of a four years in between. Oh man, what's up, Coach Row? I think we just get this because you already seen this animation. Yeah, it's the same one every time. Yeah. Now we're optimizing time. Also, I still have a, I have a bosser gauge I'm not using. I gotta do something with this. So that's the funny thing about Kojiro, actually, is that he debuted as an NPC in Bossera 2. He made his playable appearance, his first playable appearance, in uh, Two Heroes along with Matsunaga, and they look horrifying. Yep. And then, and then 3 comes out, and he goes back to being an NPC. Yeah. That's curious. He's never been playable in an American game. No. But this is a damn shame. For obvious reasons. Yeah. What's funny though is that the is that Yuki Mura and Masamune have been uh, rivals straight up since the first game, but uh, uh, but Sa but Sasuke, who was also playable since the first game, didn't get a didn't get an actual rival until two heroes. So even though the series started in 2005 or four, he didn't get an actual, an actual rival of his own until 2007. It doesn't seem like they were placing that much emphasis on Sasuke for a long time anyway. I guess so, but at the same time, it's like he gave, like um, like see, the, see here's the thing is that uh, is that Takeda ha, uh, has Kenshin, Yukimura has Masamune. You'd think it, you'd think at the very least it would be fair to give uh, to give uh, Sasuke someone. And Kasuga, does, and Kasuga doesn't count because Kasuga is a love interest, not a rival. Yeah. That's a funny thing, actually, is that Kasuga is split between, like, three guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kenshin, Keiji, and Sasuke. She does have a lot... Well, two, everyone but Kenshin seems, seems to be gunning for her, yeah? <laughs> uh, he teases her so hard, it's hilarious. Yeah. Shit. Did I ever tell you about how in uh, in uh, Boss Refora Sumeragi, uh, Kasuga is playable and how one of her new moves is literally her pole dancing? <laughs> yeah, you showed it to me explicitly, actually. Yeah, and how, and how it is the fastest way to rack up a ridiculous combo count in the entire game. That still amazes me. Because if, if you're in a big enough crowd... Oh, shit. That one I got hard. you. Because if you're in a big enough crowd, I think you can rack up the 10,000 combo in, like, under 30 seconds. I'm really not surprised. <laughs> the noise. Yeah. Also, Kojo seems to be putting up a bit of an offense. Dynamic scaling difficulty. 
Like if nothing, if nothing else, at least it's nice. It's nice to have a challenge. Yeah, it's good that the game's not too easy. I wonder if this series has ever had online co-op. It hasn't, sadly. That was a funny thing is that I think it was actually, it was actually, I might be wrong on this, but I think it was actually mistakenly advertised in the West as having it, despite never actually having it. Huh. This is not quite Dynasty Warriors, sadly. That's the thing that makes me really sad, though, because. For the time it came out, it is de it was definitely the best Warriors game ever because its come its competition was Dynasty Warrior Seven, which is a fine game, but Boss Ray Three is just better. Yeah, it just is. So to not be able to have uh, online co-op makes me sad. Which just think about that full screen co-op. Yeah. Sup, party dude. Just leisurely taking a stroll across a bridge, about to kill people. There we go. Yep, there, that, that happened. Okay, sure. <laughs> they get flooded. Man, all the floodgates. Uh, no, you're trying to protect them. In, uh, in Raw the water! In the version of this stage where you're actually fighting against Yukimura, and it's actually uh, him, the boss, you're the one trying to destroy all the floodgates. Yeah, because like if you because if you do it, you can actually if you destroy all the floodgates, you can get behind him and take him by surprise. The uh, the the text thing on the previous cutscene actually said actually uh, says at least in the English version, "One Eyed Dragon Party Time." <laughs> uh, yep. At least they've always had their sense of humor. And yet, no English text here. Strange, but okay. Well, no, it said it said it in Japanese. The English, the ing, uh, the actual, the Samurai Heroes version uh, says "One Eye Dragon Party Time." Yeah, I, I know. It's just the whole English theme with Masamune. You think they go for that? Yeah. So I'm gonna say right now, it needs to be a thing in uh, Capcom Four. They need to have Yukimura and Masamune, so we can finally have Dante fight Date. <laughs> It needs to be a thing. Stop digging. Uh, stop teasing us. Actually, have fucking boss of characters playable in Marvel vs. Capcom. That mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's a, that's really a thing that should happen. Considering this game mm -hmm. has had the series has had a fighting game before already. Yeah. Which was made by wasn't Ar that made by Arc System Works? Was it was Arc System Works. Yeah. Did you know that uh, that Masamune was originally considered considered as a Capcom representative? In Tatsunoko versus Capcom before ultimately being dropped. <laughs> How much you want to bet we can still find him in the data files? Probably. Is Don is uh, Dante in in uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom? He's actually not. Huh. Yeah. Because I was gonna, gonna say if he was dropped, that was probably who he was. For, for that record, I don't even think they have beautiful Joe in that game. I don't think. I think he actually is. Which, for that matter, just think if he was in there, uh, Dante. Actually, no. Never mind. It has been a thing. I was gonna say before, before Project Cross Zone. I'm dead. Uh, Dante in a Nintendo game. Yeah, on the Wii, no less. I am okay. Good, you're here. Let's dance. Not today. I have I have gun. I wish I had. I wish there were enough more items to fill up my boss gauge. Because Done. because the English version. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Because the English version, when you fight, uh, when you fight Sasuke, he and he does his bosser attack. His thing he translates to, uh, his attack line uh, translates to, "This is how I do my Sarutobi dance." Mm -hmm. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So you might remember this scene from that episode of Judge End, where uh, Mitsunari appeared in front of Yukimura's castle, and Masamune just so happened to be there. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, good times. That time he beat the shit out of him. Masamune wasn't having such a good day. He and you are... <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Just the utter disrespect. You're wasting my time. <laughs> yeah, that, that was so good. I mean... Yes, Troy Baker is still a decent, is still a really good uh, Mitsunari, but goddamn, Matthew Mercer really sold that one. 
he got better over time, but the first couple episodes, no. Well, look, it's still trying a little too hard to impersonate Troy, yeah. I want to say that Troy is still... And, and I do not like Troy. I kind of hate Troy as a person, but <laughs> at least as Mitsunari, he is perfect. Yeah. Actual, actual snake eye. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah... It, it, you know, I just remembered a really funny post. Uh, it, uh, quote Rohan, If I was stuck in a room with Adolf Hitler, Saddam Hussein, and um, Josuke, Josuke, and I had two bullets, I would shoot Josuke twice. <laughs> 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 that should remind me of that. Yeah. Now, but you remember that part at the... Uh, in the semi-final episode of Judge End, where uh, Masamune comes to challenge uh, Mitsunari, yeah, and Mitsunari and he and Masamune introduces himself as the One-Eyed Dragon, and then Ma and the Mitsunari says, I "I'll turn you into one into a one-eyed snake." Yeah, I <laughs> fucking remember that. <laughs> and then Masamune says, "Well, if you're gonna be a dick about it, yeah, that that was <laughs> I fucking love fun mission script writing sometimes, dude. It's so good. Can it, Star Fox?" <laughs> Up, up, and away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these guys, that's really good. That OVA is the best thing ever. Your lordship. <laughs> uh, is Johnny coming to any local conventions anytime soon? Isn't, isn't he coming uh, to Sabo? Yes. Yes. I was going to say, sit down, he's coming to Sabo. Yes. Dude, for all the ble uh, for all the bleach crap I own, I'm gonna have a mount and a boss or a <laughs> You really are, dude. I think you might spend <laughs> if you're not careful, you might end up spending like sixty bucks on autographs alone. That's just it. with him. Yeah. Well, no. Thankfully, Sabaton doesn't charge. That's why Sabaton is amazing. They're the only one that still does. That reminds me, actually. 